Introduction to Diffraction Patterns Now remember that when we have plane light waves incident on a slit that is in a barrier, uh, we, we have two possible outcomes. If the slit width is uh, much greater than the wavelength, uh, we will see that the ray approximation will uh, hold and uh, the, uh, the plane waves uh, will leave the slit uh, undisturbed. But if we have the uh, slit opening or the slit width comparable to or uh, greater than lambda, uh, we have uh, the plane waves turning into uh, spherical waves as they go through this opening. Now, this if this opening is really, really small, this will act like a point source. So this effect where we have the um, deformation of the plane wave fronts to spherical wave fronts is called diffraction and it forms a pattern, diffraction pattern on the screen. The pattern consists of light and dark areas. So we have a central bright region followed by dark regions and we see that the uh, the central bright uh, region is uh, quite wide. So uh, remember that if A is much less than lambda, this turns into a point source producing perfectly spherical waves. Uh, and in that case, uh, it will be difficult to observe a diffraction pattern because we need to have uh, several uh, points in this uh, slit that will produce these spherical waves uh, as uh, shown by Huygens. So the pattern consists of a broad, intense central band, the central maximum. You can see here there is a broad, intense central maximum, uh, followed by a series of narrower, less intense additional bands called side maxima or secondary maxima. So we have the secondary maxima. You can see the intensity of these maxima are decreasing and the width is decreasing as we go away from the center of the pattern. And we have a series of intervening dark bands, minima. So you can see that we have these dark bands as we go uh, far away from the center. So this is the pattern that we observe. Now, if the viewing screen is uh, much greater than uh, is far uh, compared to the slit width A, uh, we have the rays reaching the screen approximately parallel. So for the parallel ray approximation to hold, uh, we need to have this condition L is uh, much greater than A. So when L is much greater than A, the diffraction pattern that we observe on the screen, which consists of a central, bright, intense region, uh, which has a large width uh, and followed by decreasing uh, intensity and narrower uh, central fringes is called Fraunhofer diffraction. Now, if the parallel ray approximation doesn't hold, we bring the viewing screen close to the slit, then we get a much more complicated situation called the Fresnel diffraction, and that's beyond the scope of this course. So here we only consider on the parallel ray approximation, the Fraunhofer diffraction, when the uh, viewing screen is placed very far compared to the slit width. All right. So this is going to be the diffraction pattern from a narrow slit at a far away screen. Uh, that's the Fraunhofer diffraction. Okay, so to summarize, we uh, remember Huygens' principle. Uh, when we have a uh, plane waves incident on a slit, uh, they may be transmitted as uh, plane waves or spherical waves depending on the width of the opening. If the width of the opening is comparable to the uh, wavelength, uh, greater than or comparable to the wavelength, we observe a diffraction pattern. If it's much less than the wavelength, the um, slit will act as a point source. Uh, and in that case, it will be difficult to observe a diffraction pattern. The diffraction pattern consists of light and dark areas, uh, a broad, intense central band, central maximum, followed by narrower, less intense additional bands, side maxima, uh, as we can see here, or secondary maxima, and the series of intervening dark bands, uh, minima, that's in between these two, uh, two bright fringes, 
and we have uh, the Fraunhofer diffraction pattern when L is much much greater than A, the viewing screen is far away, the parallel ray approximation holds. If the screen is brought closer, we have Fresnel diffraction, which is not the subject of this course.